Jake here for American Trucks. In this video, we're taking a look at the Pro Series LED taillights with jet black housings and smoked lenses, fitting 2019 and newer Silverado 1500s, as well as 2020 and newer Silverado 2500 and 3500s with factory halogen taillights. These Pro Series taillights are perfect for the Silverado owner who wants to upgrade their lighting output and style game without spending a fortune or deviating too much from that OEM type look. While standard halogen lights have their place, yes, there is always room for improvement, but it's also easy to go overboard when it comes to aftermarket taillights. These Pro Series taillights keep things a little bit more subdued than some other options, but they still pack plenty of visual punch and they're a noticeable improvement over your stock units in terms of lighting output. Now, aesthetically, these are certainly more aggressive than your stock taillights. The jet black inner housings are pretty stark contrast to the standard red. And these also have a nice smoked lens over top to make for a more aggressive look. However, it's not so dark that it's gonna cut light output. And that's thanks, of course, to the LEDs inside. Now, these are a fully LED setup, meaning that you're gonna get to do away with all those incandescent bulbs in favor of much brighter lights. These are gonna have a different look to them as well with these large light bars on the outer edges, plus the big cluster of LEDs down here at the bottom. Now, these bars are gonna serve as your running lights with the large clusters functioning as your brake lights and turn signals. And even with the smoke lenses, these are gonna be significantly brighter than your stock lights and give off a much sharper light pattern as well. It's gonna help make your truck more distinguishable out on the street or trail, no matter the conditions. Now the reverse lights are LEDs as well, and they're gonna be much brighter than your stock ones. Again, repeating that same theme here. And it's something that's nice to see as not all LED tail lights offer that. Also, as always, it is worth noting here that these ones in particular are DOT and SAE approved, making them fully street legal. Construction here is pretty standard. You've got ABS plastic for the outer housings with polycarbonate for the lenses. Now beyond the standard properties of polycarbonate, its impact resistance and its strength, these have a special protective coating to help prevent against UV light damage such as yellowing and oxidation. It's a nice little extra to see here, not something you find on a lot of other options. Now everything here is pretty nice. It's all sealed up to protect the electronics inside as well. And the wiring is pretty much done for you making these essentially a plug and play install, but we'll touch more on that momentarily. Now, pricing for the set comes in at about $575, which position these more toward the premium end of the segment. And I think that's pretty fair considering the construction and what's included here. These are definitely a more premium option in the market, and I think that the enhanced lighting elements and the construction can easily justify the price tag. Installation is gonna get a one out of three on our difficulty meter. It should only take you about 45 minutes to complete the job. Now, you are gonna to have to plug in these included external resistors, two on either side, in order to get everything working properly. But like I mentioned earlier, everything here is pre-wired and plug and play, so you don't have to cut or clamp or crimp anything like that. And these guys even have 3M double-sided tape on them already installed, so you can just stick them up and out of the way making it a pretty easy job to do. With that though, let's head out to the shop and we'll walk you through the whole process. For this install, you will need a ratchet, 3 8 a quarter inch adapter if necessary, T15 Torx bit, and a flathead screwdriver. What's up guys, today we're gonna be installing some taillights on our Silverado, but before we get started, we're gonna send you to watch a short video on how to uninstall your factory setup, and we'll see you when you get back. So our first step is going to be to remove our two bolts holding our taillight in the housing. And to do that, we're going to use our T15 Torx bit and a ratchet. And once we have those out, we can go ahead and pull our taillight out. So next we can go ahead and unplug our bed light. And for this one, it's a little bit tricky because the release is so close to this cutout here. So if you want to get a pick or something like that and go ahead and press down on it, then you can go ahead and release your connector for that. So next we can go ahead and disconnect our main harness, which is located underneath behind our tailgate and bumper. So we'll go ahead and under the truck and disconnect our main connector. So now that we're underneath the truck, we've located our main connector for our harness here, and we'll go ahead and release our red safety tab. Pop that back, then go ahead and press down 
and release your connector, and then we'll fish that back up through and remove our tail light. So now we can go ahead and fish our harness up through and remove our tail light. And once you have this completed on this side, you can go ahead and repeat this process for your other side. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Now that we've shown you how to remove your factory lights, there's a few things we need to do to get our new setup ready to go on the truck. So what we're gonna do is come to the back of our factory lights here, and we're gonna remove all of our bulbs and sockets. So we're just gonna give them a quarter turn counterclockwise, pop them out just like this. You can do this for all of your bulbs here. Pop those out, and then we can set our factory tail light aside. Now we are gonna be removing the bulbs from the socket, so if you do wish to save the bulbs or anything like that, you do wanna wear gloves when touching glass on bulbs because the oils on your skin will cause hot spots and cause premature failure of your bulbs. For ours, we're not really worried about that, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop our bulbs out. And they just easily disconnect like so. Do that for all of them. Okay, now we have our harness set up top to bottom. Our tail light is facing the same orientation. So we'll come up here. So now we have our LED conversion connectors on our new assembly here. And we're just gonna follow this down from top to bottom and plug these in just like we would a regular light bulb. So start with our top socket. You wanna make sure they click in nice and secure. Now once we have all of those in, we're gonna go ahead and tuck our wiring back into our housings and get our connectors seated in place like so. And then we're gonna give them a quarter turn clockwise to lock them back into place. So we'll do that for all of these here. It may be a little tight getting this wiring back in there, but it will go. We'll lock those into position. Now once you have all this done for this side, you can go ahead and repeat the same process for your other tail light. So now we have our tail light over to the truck. We're gonna feed our connector and main harness back through where it came out in the factory setting. So we'll go ahead and just feed that right back through and down so we can access it at the bottom of the truck. And we're not gonna plug this in yet, just yet. We're gonna set the tail light on the tailgate for now. We have to go underneath the truck to get some things sorted out. So we have our two LED resistor blocks here for each tail light, and they do have this adhesive backing on them. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that backing right now, the cover for it rather. And then we're gonna take them and put them through these open slots here to stick them back out of the way of the assembly and out of the way of any dirt and debris that may come up under the truck. Go ahead and get these through. Now you do want to place your first one pretty low so that you have room for both. I'm just going to stick that in there. We're going to do the same thing for our second one. Once you have those secured back there, pull your hand out and you have access to your connectors to plug into your tail light. So now we'll go ahead and plug in our resistor blocks to our tail light assembly, and that's these little connectors right here. Go ahead, those plugged in. Okay. So next we can go ahead and tuck the rest of our main harness in our opening here, and we'll grab our bed light connector. We'll plug that back in to our bed light. Then we can line our locator dowels up with our factory mounting points here for our tail light. Go ahead and get those into position. Get the tail light set into place. Then we'll grab our factory mounting hardware and our T15 Torx bit on our ratchet. 
go ahead and get these mounting screws back into place. So now we've come underneath the back of the truck and we found our factory connector and we're going to plug that back into the factory body side connector. We'll get that into place and then we'll push in our red safety tab, just like so. So now once you've completed this process for this tail light, you can go ahead and repeat the same steps for your other side. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our Pro Series LED tail lights and jet black housing and smoke lenses for your 19 to current Silverado 1500 with factory halogen tail lights. Thanks for watching and as always, for everything Silverado, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.